What's up, guys? How are we doing today? I'm Bradley. Good to hear you back. That's right. So, considering um, I'm not able to grab some people from someone else's stream, we'll just do the public. Um, for yeah, <laughs> we'll just use the uh, rando button. <laughs> As bad as this will be. But yeah, fill me in. What's happening? I haven't been alright. Hopefully we might at least get one more person in the chat that maybe we might have enough people to competently go through Tapu Koko. Never mind. <laughs> alright, yeah. It's more dependent on how many people I bump into online and how composite they can be. Last last time I did this, for some weird reason, someone was attacking my Pokemon. And because I, that died, that that's why we lost. Nippon. I'll wait for at least one more person to join and then that'll make sense. Mm. I am loving that it's cooled down finally. It just makes it so easy. It's, it makes it really easier to cool down. Come on, lads. Let's do it. Looks like it's just two for now. One grown type and you're all sorted. Oh, ground, sorry. Yeah, but <clears throat> it's more dependent on um, the survivability of the other three. But let's go for more Pico for now. This week. Uh, oh, we got a ground on the right, and that'll be the best we can do. Let's move. You idiots. You, you saw that, right? Like, I went right to go for the ground type, it went left. You're an idiot, mate. I'm sorry, but you're an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. And what makes it worse is I'm flipping weak to this Pissimian now, so I could lose a life here if I get unlucky. I 
And to make matters worse is, uh, Tapu Koko has flying type moves. It does feel peaceful though. This is exactly what I meant when I said that even though I could bump into players, they could still be incompetent. Hey, I'm at least getting excited to stream uh, Shadow Generations on the 25th. What day is that? Uh, anyway. Ooh, on a Friday. Unfortunately, we won't be doing any <laughs> Dynamax adventures on uh, Friday. The fish killed him. Why do you even want that? Oh my... This guy really wants this for Simeon. Uh, that's an obstagoon and I can't see what the other fairy type is. Wide lens, I guess. When I seen your clip when you got a shiny from the egg, I forgot what the name is. Um, I think it might have been Sprigatito. But then again, um, I have had two situations where I've hatched eggs and the Pokemon came out shiny as uh, someone was there with me. It might have been either Fennekin or Sprigatito. Try something. I bet someone's selling a PS4 account has access to the game. <laughs>
Well, to put it basically in description purposes, um, there are. I'm trying to. Uh, all right, all right, let me say again. When Dynamax Adventures first came out, uh, before I figured out how the shiny system worked, I had already accidentally claimed Tapu Koko and Reshiram. So on my main sword file, where I keep all the good stuff. Like, when, when we get over there, you'll see how much stuff I've got on there. I might get hours on that time. You'll, you'll be surprised. <laughs> anyway. So, because of that, I'm not able to get a shiny Tapu Koko or a Reshiram in, sword and in, in my sword file. So, in Shield, I sped run to get the entire Pokedex sorted out. And I mean, I, li I literally just made sure I had one of every po Pokemon on the Galar decks. Just copy and pasted it into the shield file and done. <laughs> Played through it all, got the charm, boom, bam, bong. I have a flipping shiny generating copy of the game. <laughs> oh, now I. You could have done that from the other route. At least we got a crocodile. I'll try and grab the crocodile. This is kind of bad for me, isn't it? Okay, that's a life gone with the Drapion. Good. You'll basically be rolling in shinies now. And I'll take the more Pico. You know, because uh, I'll take the Crocodile. See, because I'm actually being smart with what I'm choosing, Persimian boy. <laughs> right. Give me as many Shadow the Hedgehog references you know of. We need to personify this shiny to look like Shadow the Hedgehog. And that's basically been our main strategy to try and boost our odds of getting this. 
I know it's weak, but nothing's worked so far apart from that Liper you see in front of you. Let's get him as big as Australia. I got some might. I only play once a week, and it took me two weeks, two times to catch. Hey, if a routine helps, a routine helps. Crocky, look at the jaw on that mite. It'd be enough to knock a Barbie off a of Sheila, I might. If I have any fans in Australia, I suddenly apologize. Yeah, uh, sword might potentially be a bit trickier. Probably isn't. I'm probably being silly. But yeah, I'm, I guess I should really explain why I'm specifically looking for Tapu Koko and Russia Ram right now when I could be doing after Rayquaza. I really want Rayquaza. To put it basically, we're planning to do a Nuzlocke. My first ever Nuzlocke. And hello Meg, hope you're doing good. Please send the shadow references. Give as many flippin' shadow references as you can, chat. As many as you can. Even if it's snap cube related. Exactly. That that will be the next uh, Dynamax target after Reshiram and Tapu Koko. I wonder if Mochiko is going to show up tonight. He's a riot. Ah uh, yes, he he does he does like to piss on him, doesn't he? Stop spamming Aki pressure. It feels exciting when you have more than one person in the chat. Had a nice cup of tea. Finland. The voices are talking again. Yes, more. Give me more. evil. Well that's the thing like um, I've been uh, hosting raids in other streams to you know, like add community blah blah but then also the whole idea to have someone there that's competent so yeah and when that happened two people I separately raided with Got the shiny Tapu Koko. Pain. All I know is pain. <laughs> yes, spread my emotes everywhere. I want to see everything. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, I need to get uh, my clip border up for the case of a shiny happening. All right, come on then. Get the references up. Now we're more than ever.
No. Meg. That's perfect. That looks like a Twitch jet for once. Also, see, so you seem shocked. Uh, how? What, what, what happened? <laughs> There's a Discord link if anyone needs it. Okay, no one Persimian. No one the Obstagoon. No one the Crocodile. And. Damn it. Ugh. It hurts because then you, you build up the hype and then it gets shut down. We're gonna keep going though. Until the voices tell me to stop. Kiana will be joining us for this one. Hopefully, one more person. Have you guys seen the new shorts for Shadow, by the way? That they're, they're really good. My boy Omega is really popping off of his gun gun bang bang. He makes all the bad people disappear quicker. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's potentially what uh, Power Sand is going to be called, Omega, mainly for the Snap Cube reference. Here, um, I'm going to play a small clip of a little tease about what happens with sh uh, with Omega. Just listen to it. Oh my God! In the towers. That is not what I meant. That is not what I meant. No, that was an edit. That was an edit. Ignore what I said. Have right, listen to it now. Bradley Bear 12 just redeemed Guy the Raid, how evil. Hi. Well, if that means you know someone we could raid tonight, uh, raid when we're done. That's what, if that's what that means. Yeah, um, Listen to this. Raise me, inferior models. Bradley Bear 12 just redeemed shout out how evil. Tell him to get a shiny now game. Whoops. Hmm. We'll start off with the colossal. Okay, uh, I think I might have to go into a mandatory uh, Sonic Lord Dump warning now that I've been asked that. <coughs> you see, in the Eggman Empire, there is a special series of robots called the East. Oh, that's evil. 12 just redeemed, lose the glasses, how evil. Yes. I know I look ugly, don't I? 
Uh, let's go for the town flame and we can move on to the Bradley Bear 12 just Diggersby. Posture check. How evil. Okay, so in the Eggman Empire, there's a certain series of robots called the E series robots. That equals the 20, 24 robots Eggman made. What, two of these robots are most famous, considering to be. <laughs> considering to be Gamma. You, we all know Gamma. And E123 Omega. Now, Omega has actually been classed as the strongest of the E series robots. For the fact that it, he literally is the strongest. He's been able to defeat nearly everything he's come by, apart from Infinite, apparently. I hate forces. But yes. Um, so one day, well, so obviously, um, after Adventure 2, Eggman found Shadow. The real shadow, not of the ultimate life form copy stuff. But he wanted to cover his bets, so he used his most powerful robot to guard the real shadow. It's not necessary, but I'll at least admit it's a little bit uncomfortable. Anyway, uh, he made his most powerful robot guard shadow, because obviously shadow is important. But at some point in Heroes, Rouge broke into the area and let Shadow out. But at this point, Omega is quite pissed off at Eggman for sealing him in the room. For the fact that he knows he can do more. So as of then, Omega swears revenge against Eggman. And hence... Team Dark was formed from Shadow, Rouge, and Omega wanting answers, revenge, or treasure from Eggman. And the rest is history. Is that good enough for you, Meg? And frankly, I kind of want to say that Omega is one of my favorite characters in the Sonic franchise. If you want me to put them back on, you have to pay money. Uh, as well, um, I was watching something last night, actually, about um, like tidbits of info from the comics that I didn't even know about. There was one point where... Uh, there was a point where um, Team Dark has a fight with Blaze. And there was a point where Omega gets hit by one of Blaze's fire blasts. He was impressed, and he literally says this word for word: "Let us burn it and make destruction together." So now I've re realized there is a ship of Omega and Blaze out there, <laughs> just because. Just because Omega showed signs of a crush on Blaze. Well, you might have to ask someone to lend the money if you want me to put my glasses back on. Megro just redeemed fart with reverb. How evil. Yes, how evil indeed, Meg. I will never regret putting this uh, soundboard system in. Not at all. Experiment as much as you can with that. I want to get my efforts worth put in. I really don't know what to think about Diggersby. Oh look, it's an unpleasant. What works? Yes, but that's got nothing to do with the soundboard, and I'm really hoping you're not going to do that. For a bit of context, Bradley, there is a uh, there's a particular channel point thing in there where it costs a million, and the description is. Ask whatever you want. You save that much for it. And what Meg wants to do 
is request me to say the entirety of the script of the B movie in a stream. Hey, hey, it's fine, Ryan. Just <laughs> you know how to get more. Not the end of the world. Oh, not this again. I need to have a look at this. It doesn't even tell me what word you said. No, it's just... It's been very weird recently. <laughs> I'm assuming you're putting that for the fact that you've had Vietnam flashbacks from being hit with that before. Alright. I'm gonna have to look at what words it senses. Like, I do have some very good words that I've put in all caps. Uh, modules come on. Ah, here we go. Preferences on words. Okay, I think that should be okay now. It was using a default blacklist. Yeah, common offensive words. No, 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 no. Just claim it again and I'll put it back on. Easy. That, that, it was just easier just doing that. There we go. Yep, that's done it. Okay, I hope Kiana gets that she needs to take that. Okay, the AI is taken, that's not bad. Obviously that means we're gonna have to keep a more an eye on random people. Okay, yeah, and Meg, can you claim my remove glasses so I can put them back on please? I really wanna go and watch Transformers 1's chat. Thank you. Megro are just redeemed, lose the glasses, how evil. I'm just glad Tori in here, because knowing Tori, they've been 
take them off again. Hey, you got rid of me coal pile. Oh, don't spam that. I got the moles. A dragon. I could tell you to put your glasses off, and put I won't mind a nice, nice person. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Okay, I think I need to take this. Yeah, if I didn't take it, no one would have. We had him deported. I do believe uh, a quick claw would be infection. Alright. Ah, what you what we doing? Aha, we got three people going now. Oh, what you? I got, I got good news. I've managed to sort out the censoring problem. So as long as people have a, as long as people have a vow of honor not to say anything really bad, we can say fuck all we want now. <laughs> Alright lads, you know the drill, get the shut of the bench bugs going. Oh my god, this is the first time the chat's felt like a chat in ages. <laughs> oh good lord. This it's gotta be it's gotta be this time, right? Especially with all the people watching us. It has to be the one. It's gonna be the one. I call dibs. I call dibs. <laughs> I love my boy Omega. I think I want an Omega emote. This is E123 Omega. All systems online. I got multiple people suggesting Omega's I call dibs line is inspired by the way. <laughs> But the reality is, Omega simply talks like that. We miss this character for a reason. Yeah. yeah. I got big stubbies! Why am I so hyped? <laughs> We're getting it today, guys. We're getting it today. We need to get. <laughs> uh, we really do need to get it. I 
And if it happens, I want this flipping clip spread all over the internet as far as you can get it. And there go the birds that the people somehow thought it'd be a good idea to take. Wait, what? And that is why you don't take birds. Didn't even get a chance to see it. I bet that would have been the one as well. Uh, let's go in again. Would Joe be able to join? Bradley isn't able to, but I kick something. Uh. Oof. Oof, that was a nice sketch. Why, why were people holding on for flying types? Raiden. Okay, so apparently someone has invented a way to have a hot dog and a hamburger at the same time. Come on, Yasmin. As it, there you go. Four people. Come on, log in. Oh, come on. Oh, congrats what you open. <laughs> I want any kind of shiny from this. <laughs> oh, Grovel's my in my favorite line of shiny. In my oh my uh, my oh, oh. Skeletage is in the top uh, line of, of um starter Pokemon. Um, except out my second. Think so, yeah. Torterra makes it hard to think about it. Right. You're joking. Oh, thank God. Greninja clears. Ooh, um, I think I'll start off a Relicam for now. Hope thing to change it. Oh, I would have liked the Bisharp. It's not a good selection. Uh, poison. 
reason. Not that perfect life form. Okay, looks like we might have to go fully right. I wouldn't say it's the proper life form. It's not it's not like it's the ultimate life form or anything. Yeah, sixty nine hundred views on TikTok. Funny number. No, not that one. This one. I'm assuming you all are from what I've been told. Uh, we are number one is 10 years old. Oh no. I don't really think I get that much av revenue from it my either way. What's it does it what's it at least like advertise? Just some crappy energy drink or something. Why are people going to be so happy about Maria dying? <laughs> oh, thanks to that event they did in Sword and Shield, I actually have one of those, so... Bradley Bear 12 just redeemed posture check. How evil. The posture has been indeed checked. I miss my wife tails. Ninety-one just redeemed. I miss my wife tails. How evil! Yes, it's evil to miss your wife. It's gonna sound weird for me, but I'll admit. Um, I'm not the. I'm not entirely that interested in that in the resetting form of shiny hunting because it just looks so boring. I'm not sure if it's just a case of I have to successfully do it or something. What do you mean by Riz? 
As in the Muppet character? Rizzo? Exactly, but it's just like the odds are infinitely better in raids compared to just generally soft reach setting. Like in in soft reach setting, it's the full one in one one in four thousand. In this, it's just one in one hundred. It's just I'm being incredibly unlucky. Flames of disaster. I'll take the ground type. I'll consider it, but right now I just need to focus on the preparing for the Nuzlocke. And this is one of the and this is the very long step into preparing for said Nuzlocke. I've been preparing the rules and all that. I've even figured out how I'm gonna be doing encounters, like I'm gonna do a roaming encounter and a random encounter every route, basically. And then every time I get a gym badge, I get to go back to the wild area in a different location of the wild area for those two encounters. Alright Bradley, take it. See you in a bit, see you in a bit. Oh, I hope I got five views all of a sudden. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? If anyone's up for some Dynamax adventures, please let me know and we'll get a squad going. Right now we're trying to get Tapu Coco, the same little bitch that we've been out for for weeks now. He goes meal. I am so sorry for that. Big fish. I have one of those um, emails that come in that's just not trying to hide that it's a scam. 
Just found one of them. This just looks horrible. Obviously, I blocked and report the person who sent it. It's just. Alright, we've got everything we can get from all those Pokemon. Let's just hope that this is it. Alright, get the Battle of the Bedbugs. Quickly! It'll be Reshiram. And then Rayquaza after that, because then we can switch over to my sword version, which is where the, I'm mainly doing all the hunting. It's just Tapu Koko and Restroom have to be here. Come on, please be nice to me today. I think people have been enjoying my full of Cybertron playthrough on the YouTube channel. Vegeta. This one's going to be beaten as well, so it won't be the shiny then, will it? I think that's the Dusclops dead. Surprisingly, the dust corpse is not dead. Oof, sorry, no bitch. Ooh, Bill Fagerbake is. It's his birthday today. AKA the voice of Patrick. Alright, here we go. That is cool, there you go. Fingers crossed, lads. Okay. No on Frost, lass. No on Light Noon. No on Sand Slash. And... Yes! <laughs> Finally!
except I'm not gonna Let piss go on the earth. The I'm gonna go higher. Go. I'm pissing on the moon. I'm so fucking happy now. It's time for Reshiram. It's finally happening. We get to finally name it Shadow. Bradley's going to be really upset when he finds out he fiffin he missed out. <laughs> oh, look at him. I got to do some editing first. Now it's time for Reshiram. Let me just do some messing around. No, lie part. I hide. Move you over here. Oh, I feel so good having a legendary Pokemon in that spot right now. He's here. He's finally here. All right, let's get him into a fight then. God, I'm shaking. Oh god, I'm shaking. Meg, are you feeling ill at all? I didn't knock him out straight away. <laughs> oh, that would have been nuts. Right, we're going after Reshiram now that we know that Meg's not feeling well. For, for a bit of context, uh, last time I got a shiny when Meg was here, they um, were unfortunately had COVID. So I think we've kind of uh, found what we need to do. Quick, 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 we can get rest around going. Rest around, rest around, rest around, rest around. And yeah, um, we're going to be nicknaming uh, Shadow Solaris. Because that's the only Sonic character I can think of that looks similar to him. Like, do you name, can you think of any other white characters? Silver. Ooh. Actually, silver makes a lot of sense for Reshiram, doesn't it? Because yeah, he even has the the yellow bits. Alright, well maybe, maybe we'll name him Silver. I'm, sh I'm shaking, lads. I'm shaking. <laughs> we did it. Right. One more Pokemon and then we can switch over to Sword for our, for the remainder of the hunts. I've still got to get Groudon, Kyogre, and Re uh, Rayquaza. Oh, whoops, sorry. I forgot that you said you wanted to join. Oh, let's add that clip onto the recent thing before we forget. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be more useful putting this on. Frost, lads. Okay. No on Frost, lads. No on Linoon. <laughs> no on Sand Slash. And... Yes! 
Finally! <laughs> I got it! I got it! <laughs> that is what we're here for! Alright then, Meg. Thank you for stopping by. Right. Give exclamation give exclamation mark recent a shot, uh, Wedge Joe, and see if it looks good on your end. Obviously, I'll uh, mess around with the clip. All right. Yep, that's good. All right. Code is twenty eight. One, two, one, nine, nine, nine. Hey, if I'll, it'll be more likely the case that I'll always use the pit, uh, a viewer's clip. Oh, good lord, finally. That took too long. Right, searching now. Downloading the landscape version now to get put onto Twitter. Would you believe me? I said I've looked for that for so long, I've lost count. So I can't really see how long that hunt took. I don't know what over odds is for um, Dynamax Adventures because it's one and one. Uh, if not close. <laughs> if not close to it. Yeah. If not close to it. Oh, yeah, definitely over odds then. You searching then? Did you check if you were connected to the internet? Just, just double checking. Maybe you searched before I did. Right. Searching now. But in return, you're going to have to promise to come to Sonic's birthday party. Oh. I'll take that as a yes. There we go.
weird that I don't have to look for ground type. Oh, I can look for ground types, but they're not primarily the target anymore. Uh, let's start off with Vaporeon. Oh, we've got really bad choices here, considering it's a fire and dragon type we're dealing with. Okay, that's a Quagsire, but Quagsire doesn't have any ground moves in this. Okay, hot take, but I think we need to go left, because there's a Center Scorch over there, and Center Scorch has uh, a ground type move. Is it too late for Meg to come back? While we're waiting for this to go, I'll put the thing up on Twitter. Maybe we can toxic it. Or maybe, oh, uh, try and pick Drudigan. Yeah, I think that that was my fault. Yeah, I, I know, I know. That's my bad. No, no, it's 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 me. It's me. All oh, right, so I'm already put it to sleep. I'm gonna have to use not very effective uh, scalds. 
Hmm, weird. Don't don't get my hopes up. Um, obviously it's a case of if um, if four people choose it's whatever got the most votes and if it's an even vote it's random that's why it's annoying to do it with AI because well with AI it always uh, values the one player but when there's only two people it's horrible to try and figure out Yeah. I just can keep spamming top scald here, because nothing else I can do. Alright, that's jealous and done. I need to remember after this, the stream, I need to go and um, mess around with Tapu Koko in the camp so I've got some material for his thumbnail. <laughs> Let me have a look at that now. It's on my main page. An Orbeel? I picked the ghost route. Oh, I don't know anymore.
Ah, okay. It would appear I need to update my Twitch link. It's mainly because I did um, change the handle on it. I did it. No, oh, I think I lost a follower. It's more getting to the point where it's getting hot and rough to sort it out. Because th this thing is taking a while to finish. Okay, try my twit, try my Twitter link now. That should do it. Yeah, we don't really have anything that will work really well against an Orbeal. God, yeah. I guess I just didn't update it. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh yes there is and I really want to go see it. <laughs> Frankly I'm just upset because that isn't out in the UK yet. It comes out on October 11th. thing is like the films had a budget of 75 million dollars and at the moment it's cost 72 million dollars and people have been judging the film on that but here's the kicker it's only been out in the US so far so I don't get why people have been complaining when it hasn't been out globally yet I think we need to keep what we have. Well, maybe you need... <sighs> Does your Bronzong have heatproof? check. I can check from my end as well, so...
You have levitate. You're going to burn alive, my friend. Uh, let's poison it. If the AI lets me. Turbo Blaze. It's basically a unique version of Mold Breaker. I'll, I'll say again when it's done. Gotta keep going at it with the best attacks you got. But yeah, um, Turbo Blaze is basically a unique. Oh, okay, dead. One more life. If we don't do it now, we'll. I'll do it one more time. But if we do get it, like this will be the last one. Nice trade off then. Thing is, uh I don't know. Yeah, Turbo Blaze just works like Mold Breaker. Well, that's just rude. I got a weird feeling that this is gonna be harder to beat. Quagsire, no. Jellicent, no. No Orbital. Alright, we'll do one more and then we'll finish it up then. Because like, we're gonna do more tomorrow, so. Yeah, we got really fucked up by the flipping choices then. No, not last, yes. We can do that in Sword. Do you have Reshiram saved, by the way? Might be a way to make it so it's public, but you're still in the same thing. Like, I've done this before, but I don't know how hard it's going to be on a stream. How come you didn't save it? Oh, okay. Never mind then. Never mind then. Right. Search it now. Might also be streaming, um... Monster Hunter Wilds next year when it releases in February. 
Oh, I've already done Lunala. It was like the first one I tried. There we go. Now we've got something to work with. Oops, whoops. I'd suggest that Stunfisk. It's not the best, but would you want to take an ice type to this? Okay. We go bug, dragon, dragon. Mainly because that first bug type is a Mal Al Maldo, you know, rock type. Well, hopefully, they'll grow a brain cell and take one of these things. At least we can get a defense up with me spamming Max Steel Spike. There we go. I used to think those red marks on its uh, forehead was its eyes. Looks like the next one's a dragon there. I miss the owl house.
I would say maybe considering the ground type could help with pressure ram. I think it's the more depending on. I forgot it had Blizzard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ground would work really well with Rush Ram, but obviously the Steel type is a risky play. I might have to take this. Because like, my health is too low. Let's see what the other dragon type is for now. It looks like a Dracloak. Oh, what's that rock type? Start off with a breaking swipe, considering obviously the Dracoke Lang is a physical attacking group. Ooh, a nice crit breaking swipe. Oh, right, it's got clear body, so I can't have its stats lowered. Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. To nut up or shut up.
Well, there's no shadow. There's no shadow. The Hedgehog references now, so we can't rely on Sonic for this one. Fake tears, that is good on your behalf because you can use earth power on that. And that's what I was afraid of. Luckily, we got two lives left. I still feel quite on edge. I have good reason to be on edge. Okay, as long as your Max Quake finishes it, we're good. Okay, come on. Two legendaries in one night, that would be absolutely fucking insane. Okay, no Amato, no Dragonair. Oh, that's a shiny Crystal Cloak! That's nice. <laughs> okay, we got to keep the Drick dr Cloak. We got a shiny Drick Cloak. I know, it's one sided some days, and one sided it's not. Sweet. I'll take a Dragon Cloak. I'm always a flipping Dragon type enthusiast. I'm gonna nickname her Vanilla. Cause Dracloaks are known to be very good mothers. And obviously, Vanilla is the name of Cream the Rabbit's mother. Vanilla. Is that how you spell Vanilla? Alexa? I just spelled Vanilla. Vanilla is spelled V. A N I L L A. I don't know. That's that sounds wrong. That, that, that looks wrong. I can easily change if it's wrong. I'm happy with the results of tonight. Finally made some progress in finding these shinies. Right. Before we go, 
I need to pop into the camp and get something ready for the thumbnails that I'll need. Sorry, up to good. There we go. And now I need type of cocoa to do the same. Air vanilla. There we are, got him. This is just an exciting time though. I wonder why. <laughs> Look at that sentence. <laughs> Scared of Santa Conda. Hmm. Considering the amount of times I've had to even spam a Santa Conda onto a tub of cocoa. Oop, not by that way. If anything, I might also consider the idea of doing some restaurants off camera so it gets done quicker. Unless you guys want me to keep doing it on here. It's just so we can get everything done quicker then. But anyway, uh, that will be it for the stream and vote today. And mainly because of the fact that we did find Tapa Coco today, this will be a VOD on YouTube t for once. So something will actually show up on YouTube this week. Yay. But for now, that will be all for today. Thank you all for watching. And massive thank you for all the shiny luck everyone's given me tonight. It's been a heck of fun. But unfortunately, the search will must continue for the Russia Ram. You two. We'll be live again tomorrow to try and find uh, Sh Silver the Russia Ram. But until then, uh, that will be all for today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Ta. Ooh.